Here we go, guys. Real quick video on the gold futures. Looking at the standard uh, monthly chart of the gold futures. And uh, as you can see, we were uh, in this wedge formation. It looks like we might be breaking out today. Have less than two hours to go uh, before uh, this daily monthly futures uh, chart closes or candle closes. And yeah, we bro broke out a little bit here. I mean, uh, we'll take what we can get, <laughs> quite honestly. But for for a quite a while now, uh, in all seriousness, that 1997 and of course the uh, whole round even number, psychological number of 2000 has been a major headache in a uh, form of, you know, like a brick wall for gold to get up and over and at least close a uh, monthly candle, weekly candle, daily candle over uh, that region. But as soon as it does, that could ignite a real nice little uh, blast to the upside. Now, it's not going to happen overnight. As you can see back here, uh, when we started moving up, uh, the first, you know, big leg uh, that we had sort of back in 18, we had the first leg and then a little uh, pullback uh, backfill here. So that was one. And then the second leg consolidation and the third leg. So most of these, most times these things run in three legs. Okay. And as you can see, we had the, you know, the downdraft here, like we did on this side of the chart. And then we're up into the really just starting the first leg. So we'll either pull back in here, backfill uh, this big candle from uh, this month and then continue up or we could just, you know, consolidate uh, sideways here if we cannot, you know, near term get up and over that $1997, $2,000 uh, move there. And then going to the next chart. OK, we're looking at the four hour chart here. And as you can see, we're in this uh, kind of a ascending uh, triangle here. And this is the pattern that we're currently on. And uh, hopefully uh, right here, this green candle that's forming will hold. And then starting next week, we can uh, push back up uh, to this horizontal line of our ascending uh, 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 triangle here. And then our measured move uh, looks like we have uh, about uh, $2,060 uh, potential move here. Should we break out? Now, when we break out, it's, you know, obviously we're not going to go just, you know, parabolic to the upside. You know, we'll probably have to put in those uh, W formations yet again to get us there. But that's what we're looking uh, forward to. And uh, then if we break, uh, the 20, as you can see that, pur that purple line, that blue line here, or this white uh, uptrend line. If we break those and start trading under under it, and especially if we start uh, closing candles under there, we'll switch from long to short. And that's one of the good things about the micro futures. Uh, in a heartbeat, you can go long or, or short. And if you're holding physical, you know, metal, doesn't matter if it's gold or silver, uh, you can you have more flexibility with the micro futures uh, rather than sitting there with physical watching it, you know, uh, go to the downside, uh, you can short it. And then when it finds a bottom starts reversing, then you can take those profits and, you know, possibly buy, you know, more physical, you know, just not financial value, just, you know, kind of what some people have been doing. So anyway, appreciate you watching. Have a great weekend and we will see you on the charts.